Hey YouTube, this is the Charizard Authority. No, I've been really lazy with videos here lately. I've just got a lot going on, basketball, you know, yada yada, whatever. Anyways, today, instead of just opening up like one of these collector's tins, I'm going to open up two of these um, chest tins, I think that's what they call them, and an ancient power box. Got the ancient power box and a few other things, which you can't see in the background. Those are sitting on cases of Plasma Blast, and then there's some 2011 World Championship deck boxes. I got most of this, or I got the chest tins from Troll and Toad, and then I got the Ancient Power boxes from David Adams Card World. I want to give a shout out to them because they've been really prompt about everything. Okay, you can see I got free Christian Air Hoff, I don't know, jerseys, and the jerseys are definitely authentic and they are autographed because I, I got two of them for free with my order. And then uh, I got Plasma Blast cases. I mean, you can see the price four sixty seven fifty. Which, if any of you buy booster box cases, you know that's really cheap. The Ancient Power boxes. I'm pretty sure everywhere else has them for like twelve bucks or more. And then if you go to Walmart, they're even more than that. They were nine ninety five, which I don't know if they're still on sale. And there was only a limit of six. I couldn't buy any more than that. And then I bought out their World Championship boxes because they were at forty seven ninety five, and you get eight decks. So really good deal. I don't know what all they have there still. I ended up buying some more stuff from them the very next day because they had some of these I believe on sale these collectors chests and I bought some more of the ancient power tins no I don't think I, bought, I think I bought the Hoenn collection boxes with the primal Grudon and the primal Kyogre which I'll be opening those up but anyways I think I got like 50 or so of these tins from Troll and Toad and I've got a lot more coming in from the, a few other distributors so there's a lot of stuff coming in and all this is due to you guys participating in my 30% um, sale. I mean, I know a lot of you saved a lot of money. I mean, it was a, I think a first edition GM Heroes box sold for 350 on eBay. I mean, I cleared like maybe 270 bucks off of that. I think I paid more than that. But anyways, the sales have been great. You guys have been killing it with those 50 card lots. I think I've sold 200 of those things. It is nuts. I've had to increase the price to $10. And, uh, but they're still selling. But I'm not going to open up all this. Like I said, I'm just going to open up these three things. It's going to be a little bit longer video. But I do not have anything to hold this. So I'm hoping by setting this on this ancient power box, I can still get you guys a decent view. All right. We'll start with one of these tens. I'm going to pull the plastic off off camera. I think I picked these two because they had dents in the tens. The tens themselves were like ten bucks. All right. So. When I open it up, pretty much what shows up. Man, I need my camera thing. You get the three promos. Holographic. Out of 160, I'm not really sure what set that is from. You get a cool Pikachu coin. There's going to be five booster packs, which I will open up all of. You get four pencils, Pokemon pencils. All this stuff is for sale if you want to. As you imagine, I'm going to have a ton of these things. So they're not going to be very expensive. The main thing is shipping. You get collector stickers. Looks like you get two sheets, two different sheets. These are pretty cool stickers, man. I wouldn't mind having those on my binder. Hell on my computer. And then you get this uh, Pokemon notepad. Oh, it looks like it's just a bunch of pieces of paper. I think it's supposed to be a notepad, but it's kind of falling apart. And then lastly, this thing I've seen, it's been selling really well online. You get a mini album. Kyogre, Grudon, and of course you still have the Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. I guess they're trying to bring back the third series. The tin itself, as you can see, it's fairly large. I mean, it's definitely not like one of those miniature lunchbox tins. Okay, so when I go through the next one, I'm not going to show everything. I'm just going to pull everything out and open the packs. Oh, yeah. And this ancient power box is kind of See if this will work okay. Set it on top of it. Guess I should have figured this out before I started rolling the camera, huh? 
Anyways, we'll bring the three cars to the front. I think you guys can <laughs> Well, not really, huh? Yeah. We'll sit on top of these packs. This is a Phantom Forces pack. We got a reverse hollow Regigigas. And then a non hollow Crobat. And if you are curious, my child is due Saturday. I doubt it's going to come on that exact day, but two days. Oh, I'm not used to opening up packs this slow. We got a holographic Heatran. Pretty much all of these cards will be going into this 50 card lot. I know they're just uncommon and common, so I, I throw in holographics here and there. Alright. Reverse holo Dridge Diggin' and a holographic Milotic. So two hollows in this box, or in this chest tin. Man, that tin is so cool. I bet these things are going to be selling hotcakes. The Charizard, uh, Blastoise and Venusaur tins have been selling really well. Better than I thought anyways. Looks like we got a Full Art, no. Fossil Researcher, I'll leave that one in the background. So, these five packs have been good, <laughs> to say the least. I guess two holographics and a Full Art, I mean, so you guys watch my Charizard, Blastoise and Venusaur tin openings. You know that I didn't have very good pulls at all. Alright, so that was the chest tin. If you were curious, I'm setting these on the uncommon common cards. Which is probably a horrible thing to do. Okay, you can't, well, I'll lift this up, all right. So here's the Ancient Power Box. Looks like there's three packs, then five just regular cards. I'm gonna open this up off screen because it's gonna be awkward if I try to open it up in front of you. And then I will bring the contents back to the front. So this was for $9.99, free shipping. Which isn't too bad. The packs themselves, I mean, if you were trying to buy that at a retail store, it would cost that much. You always got to be careful trying to get these cards out. Fortunately for these, they can just slide out from the side. Okay. So there's the three packs. Alright, we'll start with the uh, five cards that come with it. First we got a Fossil Researcher, it's holographic up here and down here so you know it's the promo, Tyrant, holographic, looks like they have the Galaxy Foil, I don't know if you can see that or not, Tyrantrum, Amora, Amaura, and then Aurorus. So those are pretty sweet promos. Like also there was a quick guide insert to fossil poking. I will try selling these. I doubt they will sell. But nevertheless, let's jump into the three packs that come with it. Wait, one, two, three. If I remember correctly. And flash fire darker cards are a good indication of the last card. And it is. We have a Charizard EX number 11. Here it is. Here it comes.
Man, I hate opening up packs like this. This is annoying. Must get me a stand quick. Got a regular rare Hariyama. And now it's Harucha. It's fantastic. I think you guys can see these. Reverse hollow Clefable and a regular Polytoad. I'm going to move this stuff over. And I'm going to move on to the chest, the last chest tin. I'm going to pull out all the contents off camera. Packs. We'll start off with the Phantom Force. That one was definitely a little dark in the back, but I can't remember if Phantom Forces if that meant for a. Oh, well, what you know, there's a flare card back there. Didn't mean to reveal it. Got a Reverse Hollow Verse Seeker and a jamming net flare card. I definitely like these pulls better than my last three tail opens. We have another Phantom Forces booster pack. Professor Sycamore. Reverse Hollow Pyroar. And then a rare non hollow jelly scent. These will make for good additions to those 50 card lots for sure. Got a holographic halucha. Man, I opened up so many flash fire packs. It's like I have these cards memorized. There's a reverse hollow power roar. I wonder if these are still expensive. A non hollow rare luxury. Alright, so for the last pack and opening in this video, it's going to be a, an XY base set pack. Shauna. Pikachu. Fairy Energy, First Hollow Girder, and a rare non hollow Wigglytuff. So, thank you all for watching. Now that you know what comes in the collector's chest and the ancient power box, well, if you didn't already know, I think that you'll find that these are really good deals. I think at Walmart they're only $25. I mean, of course, you can get that cheaper at other sites, but with shipping, a lot of times you're not going to be able to, even if they're advertising a sale for, say, even, you know, as little as $15 because they're going to charge a lot for shipping. These things are heavy. Um, if you don't recall what comes in them, you get five packs. You get those pencils, the stu two sticker sheets, the three promos, the Pikachu, the mini album, the tin itself, which is nice, and the notepad. So that's a really good deal, I think. But anyways, thanks for watching. Stick around for some more videos. I definitely plan on uploading some for the Hoenn collections.